Hey there YouTube, this is your friend Gitalix here with a tutorial, a short tutorial on how to set up a translation bot on your Twitch channel. If you have a worldwide audience and people that speak different languages constantly go to your stream, if you want to engage with them or you want them to engage within themselves, it helps to have something to help bridge the language gap. This is a free software that's set up by the husband of a Japanese YouTuber. Links to all their information below so that you can download it yourself and you can also give them credit. What it does is it takes everything that, that's being put into the chat and it sends it into the Google Translator API. And then from there, Google decides what the source language is if you don't actually provide it. And then it spits out what the Google Translate says. And it may be just Google Translate, but in many situations, this is just gonna be enough. It's gonna be enough for you to be able to understand what they mean. You'll be able to then communicate with people from all over the world. And I think that's really exciting. And so let's get into the files. The first thing we're gonna do is, you're gonna click on the link in the description that has the uh, Twitch master link, the zip file. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna download the zip file, and you're gonna uncompress it, and it's gonna look like this. It's going to look just like this. You're going to have a temp folder, a config file, that's a text file, a readme file that's going to be very important. These room UID checkers, I don't actually use them, but you can actually use them to get the ID number of a room. Uh, and the two files for the Twitch translator fun, uh, application. The, each of those files has a Python file. If you're you know, knowledgeable in Python, maybe you want to make some changes. Uh, so this is actually the, uh, it should be the uh, source code so you can change it into something that better suits your fancy but I'm gonna tell you what it does right now I'm gonna open the readme file and explain what's there and then I'm gonna show you the uh, config file itself so the very first thing is all you have to do is rewrite the config file which I'll show you what it is and then runs run the exe file so for this I do recommend you make an additional twitch account whose sole purpose is to run this bot so make sure that it doesn't use your normal twitch account uh, use an old email to get a, a new twitch account and just don't use it for anything but this and you'll be able to then separate you and the bot and here's the very cute message that he left his wife that's so cute this is her twitch channel you can also donate here if you think this is the most amazing thing you've ever seen which i think it is you should always kind of link them in the description of your videos or if you're in on your twitch you should link them in the description below in your channel this is a little picture made um for them to identify the little thing it has chibi versions of them just going yay um, and it says translation software if you go to the to the to my twitch channel you'll see it in the bottom and of course this is the link to the uh, artists page so it's the credit there now for the config file it looks just like this and I'm gonna show you in a little second except for one little thing I'm not gonna show you that part Twitch channel you're going to delete this whole thing and write the your the twitch channel that you want it to appear in so be very careful with this because you can write any twitch channel and they will go there and start translating everything now if someone wants you to bring the bot because they want you to help the communication with someone else that is okay but be careful because it will translate everything that's being said on the chat so if there's too many users it can drown the chat out so over here you have the username of the alternate account that i told you to make and here you have a code that is the one thing i'm not going to show you because once you have that code anything that has that code will be able to post under that username you can change the color of the text translator just the same same colors you can change your normal text too but here are the names um, and here when it says trans to home this is your home language if you speak English and your first language is English or you want to communicate mainly in English or your you know English if, if, if you if that's the language that you want to mostly communicate by then that's where you would write EN for English this uses the same two letter setup as Google Translate does for good reason this home to other is if someone writes in your home language so if your home language was English if you write a different language here every time someone writes in English it will translate it into that other language so this this setting would be something you set up if for example you're going to stream and you expect Brazilian players or Portuguese players um, both of them speak Portuguese mostly so you might set this into Portuguese and set this to English so that whenever you write something in English it's, it's written in Portuguese and when someone writes it in Portuguese it will be translated to English. Show by name is when, when the bot re replies in the chat it tells you who said that and so I recommend you say that it said that's true just in case it gets too busy and show by language uh, also show the original language that it was translated from also so also helpful because if you want to target that person specifically let's say that you don't have the home to other language set up 
if you want to target that person specifically, you can write the two, the, the same uh, two letters for their language with a colon and then write anything and the bot will translate specifically to that language. So if you want to reply to that person in chat uh, and you don't have this set up here, you can do that by just addressing the language specifically and anyone else can do that too. Ignore language. If you don't want one of the languages to be translated, you can ignore it here. Ignore users, but like your bots, maybe you don't want your, your song request to be translated seven times. Well, then, then you can do that. Ignore line uh, is if you write something here, if anything it contains this, the, any, any of the terms in here, it will be ignored. So HTTP is there because links will be ignored. So as long as, as anything is written there that is in here, that would be ignored. And over here, specific words don't get translated like Kappa. You have your text to speech function. What it does is it reads what was original, originally written, and it also reads the translation. So, if you if you have too many users, I don't recommend this. I mean, it is cool if if you ignore the English language, for example. She said your language here, English, ignore English, so English isn't translated, but you only get told when someone speaks in another language. How do we get the translation um, authorization code, the, the post authorization code to write up here? You get it by logging on to the alternate Twitch account and going into this link, which you, if you can't see it in, the, in I'm going to say it right now, it's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash twitchapps.com slash tmi slash in that place you will be able to authorize it's kind of like if it was an app right so you get to authorize it and it'll give you the manually like actually written out the authorization code once you have that code paste it in the top and you are done so i'm gonna for i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna open the config file make a little change so you don't see it and then we will go into the options that i have set up and then we'll see the result all right so this is the configure file as you can see and right here i have the my my own channel because i don't want to bug someone else's channel this is the name of the bot i put there just it's like slang like language um and here it would be the i would paste the code that i'd be given for the authorization now it does have additional like symbols i think to it but all it wants is the numbers and letters it's a really big uh, string of numbers and letters and you would write it here i'm not going to paste it there because this is what would authorize anyone to post with an app under this name so i don't want to make that public and be make, make sure that you don't make that public either i just set it to spring green instead of uh, i think it was like the gold one golden rod eh, it's whatever color you want and right now i set, have it set it to english and I haven't set to not translate English to something else. Um, if I was talking to someone in uh, French, I would write FR there for France. Uh, I think it's FR. And you would save it. And then any English would be automatically translated into French. But right now, all I want is translation to English, nothing else. Let's set this to true, just so you could hear what it looks like. But I wouldn't recommend it. So I'm gonna just paste the authorization code and we're, then we're gonna go save that, and then I'm gonna show you what you have to do next. All right, so I already saved the config file. I am going to then run the Twitch Trans FN, which is not the, not the Python one, but the application. If you just see this, that means you're good to go. It's already wait, it's already wor working. Um, if you see any errors here, you can address those errors, like um, maybe changing something in the settings, like that. What just happened? Yikes. I gotta fix that. So it kind of had a hyphen on the code to post, so that's what that error was. You should be just seeing this. If you see the other one, you messed up horribly. <laughs> worst comes to worst, just unpack the, the zip file and start over. Um, but you should just see this. Once you see this and nothing else, that means that it's ready to go. I happen to have my channel up right here. Boop. Support me and Miracle Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. I'm gonna start writing here. I'm gonna write just hello. Um, my wait. I'm gonna write in another language because I want to see that it translates. Uh, but first, my original language is English. If I write hello, it should not translate to anything. I mean, it shows it. It says it. That's the problem, right? It says the, the text-to-speech part. I hope you heard it. Uh, but it doesn't translate, right? So there's no translation there. It just says English. If you don't like that, uh, if you don't want it to do it, say anything in English, you want to ignore the English language. Hola. Hola. Hello. 
So as you can see, it says hola very enthusiastically. And then it translates it into hello and it says it both. So every time someone says something in another language, it will translate like that. What if I wanted to say hello back, but I wanted to do it in Spanish? If I had said the la the other the language, the home language to home or something, as ES, every time I wrote something in Spanish, it would translate to English, but every time I saw someone else wrote something in English, it would translate to Spanish. So I, I ha if I wanted to always have that back and forth, I can set that as the second language. Uh, but if I want to actually write something in English and I want the person to see it in Spanish, I need to write the two letters for the language. So ES in this case, and then I write whatever the heck I want in, in the language. So how are you doing? How are you doing tonight? How are you doing tonight? I mean, to me, this is fantastic. Obviously, it's a little awkward. Google Translate will always be a little awkward, but this is obvious. Like, you can obviously tell what's happening, right? So, if I just say that 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 back, for example, someone actually writes that, this is what's going to happen. How are you this evening? I mean. That's that's pretty good. It's Google Translate, but it does help you at least kind of make this connection between you and your viewers that are from somewhere else in the world. So, you know, I think it's worth it. You can also let them engage between each other. So, if someone from Russia and someone from uh, Peru or something, they can start talking to each other. You know, the Peruvian guy just writes, "Are you?" and says, um, "Uh." I don't know. I hope this is a good translation. And then, I actually, I don't know if that's a good translation, so I kind of want to know. I ask what kind, what kind of games do you like, but I don't know. If, <laughs> what games do you like? And then the person says, okay, I, don't know, I don't know Russian, I'm sorry. You may want to turn the text to speech off though, so just say false instead of true there. So there it is, a very short description of the translation software uh, that you can use so that you can connect with people all over the world and so your users can connect with one another. So if you have any other questions, you can follow me in Twitter and the handle is there. This, the same thing I have here, right? That's my Twitter handle. Or if you want, uh, you can ask questions right here in the description below or in the comments and I'll be able to uh, answer as much as I can. So I hope this helps you connect with your viewers and have a good day.